Another aspect of life here in 2020 has been the necessity now to wear masks. Uh, and they're important to wear masks. Uh, it, it, it prevents you from infecting other people uh, with the COVID or other types of diseases that are uh, communicable by the mouth. One of the problems though we've been getting or been hearing about is that people, when they breathe in through masks, they're breathing back in their own CO2. So if they've been they're forced to wear these masks, six, seven, eight hours a day, even longer when they're in the workplace now, people going back to work. People working out actually are being forced to wear the masks. Breathing in CO2 robs the body of oxygen, and makes you hypoxic. Uh, it's very similar uh, scenarios to um, CO2 um, inhalation as it is being at altitude. You become hypoxic, the CO2 displaces the oxygen in your system and can make you feel, give you headaches, nausea, dizziness, shortness of breath. Uh, so what we do here in Milford is that when we're wearing masks and we become uh, deficient during the day, is it just let it reach in? Do that a couple times. And it makes you feel better. Uh, so, with face mask fatigue, um, we're recommending people uh, try boost oxygen to make you feel better, function better, uh, and hopefully uh, limit the amount of hypoxia that you get from breathing in, uh, rebreathing in your CO2. Uh, so stay safe, wear the mask, um, but uh, you may want to look at some oxygen to help you with your face mask fatigue.